Matt Blocky with EWA. Today we are talking through 10 tips for 2023 and how to maximize your financial plan. Tip number six for 2023, how to maximize your financial plan is health savings account. So a health savings account is something that we highly recommend uh, for those that it's appropriate to. So if you have a family that's generally healthy and have a health insurance option that has a higher deductible that allows you to do a health savings account, this is money that you can contribute in tax-free. It grows tax-free, and then it comes out tax-free if it's used for Medicare costs. So this is actually something we recommend for most clients to fund in, maximize the account every year, invest the money in all equities, let it grow, because the biggest expected cost during your retirement is actually healthcare. And this can be used for Medicare premiums, it can be used for all kinds of qualifying expenses when you retire, and having a mechanism to pay for all those healthcare costs with inflation being what it is, in a tax-free manner can be a complete game changer in your financial plan. So let's break this down. In 2023, as a family, you can now contribute $7,750 per year into an HSA if you're under the age of 55. If you're over the age of 55, you contribute an additional $1,000 in. Now, something we wanna make sure that is relevant is you have to have a deductible as a family of at least $3,000. So the question then becomes, what is better? Do you pay a higher amount for health insurance, higher guaranteed costs that's coming out of your paycheck? If you need it, the less out of your pocket. If you don't need it, it's just wasted money. First, if you go with an HSA, pay a lower amount per paycheck, but if you need it, you're gonna have to come out of pocket $3,000. Depending on your tax rate right here, there's a significant, you know, if you're in a 37% tax bracket, for example, or you know, in the mid 30s, there's going to be over $2,500 a year that you save in taxes just by putting the money in and taking that tax deduction. So the tax savings alone almost offsets the deductible amount completely. And then the monthly premiums that you're saving from having a lower cost on a monthly basis from a premium plan is just money in your pocket. So unless there's something that you know is coming out of the ordinary, a surgery, or you know you're gonna hit the deductible, uh, for most families it does make sense to have an HSA. And one quick trick, if you have two spouses working at two separate jobs, if one spouse does the HSA and the other spouse doesn't, as long as the one spouse has a child on the plan, they still qualify for the family and can, can contribute the full $7,750 uh, per year. So we recommend this is an individual analysis. We should look at all options. Look at your individual health, you know, forecasting individual health costs that are gonna come up for the year. And then something we have to be really careful about is HSA plans really make a lot of money because most people forget to invest the money. And then if the money is just sitting there in cash, you know, they're lending it out to different people and they're making the spread on that. So we wanna make sure that that money gets invested immediately. Most HSAs require one to $2,000 balance that stays in cash, but then the rest can be swept over this requires manual work to be swept over into an array of investment options and then invested accordingly. So something we would highly recommend to look into if this is an option through your employer and then to implement accordingly.